Hello, this is Mr. Painter with another Fabulous IXL tutorial. Today we're working on AA4 slope intercept form. All right, so we're going to be looking for two things today. We're either going to be looking for the slope or y intercept. But before we get started, let's review uh, what slope and y intercept looks like. We're going to use some, something called the y equals mx plus b formula. Now, the m value is going to represent the slope. Now, we know that's the slope because it's in front of the x. Now, the constant that is not in front of the x is going to be called the y-intercept. And with that being said, it's going to be a pretty straightforward process today because the slope is always in front of the x and the number or the constant that is not with the x is something called the y-intercept. All right, here we go. Let's give this one a try. Find the slope of the line y equals negative 1 over 4 x plus 9 over 8. Because they're looking for the slope, remember the slope is the value right before the x. In this case, it is a negative fraction, so we're going to include the entire negative fraction. So let's go ahead and put in negative 1 over 4. All right, next up, we got find the slope. And again, the slope is directly in front of the x. So we got negative 8 over 3. All right, now we're going to look for the y-intercept. And, and the y-intercept is in a different place this time. So the y-intercept is going to be at the end. So the value that has no x is going to be the y-intercept. So in this case, the positive 1. So again, with the x, slope. Without the x, y-intercept. All right, let's go ahead and continue. Find the slope of the line y equals 2x minus 5 over 7. Because they're asking for a slope, remember the slope is before the x. So in this case, the whole number of Two. Ooh, gotta be careful. That was the looking for a two. All right, excellent. All right, find the slope. Right before the x, we have negative five over four. The y-intercept is the value without the x. So in this case, we're going to include the negative as well. And by the way, negative and subtraction are the same thing. So negative seven over five. Find the y-intercept of the following equation. The y-intercept is without the x. It will be 6 this time. Find the slope of the line. It is before the x. So we're going to include negative 5 over 3. Find the y-intercept of the following equation. Simplify your answer. Um, pretty hard to simplify negative 10, but the negative 10 is the answer. Y intercept. How are we doing? We smart score 75, rock, rolling right along. Ooh, they're trying to be scary. They're doing negative 39 over 86 and 65 over 97, but it's still the same thing. Uh, because we're looking for the slope, we're going to want that negative 39 over 86. And the key here is type it in correctly. That's why they're trying to make it harder and more difficult. And sure enough, did I type it in incorrectly? Yes, I did because I put 68. So now it backs me up to 69. So not a big deal because like so it's not that hard. So we got 2 over 3 for the slope there. And find the slope, negative 2. And I just need one more right and I'll be finished with this one. Find the slope. Okay, got to be careful with this one because uh, like I said, you type it in a little too fast. Um, you get it wrong. So negative 47 over 19 is the slope. But bam. Thank you, and this concludes this fabulous IXL for AA4.